Today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide of how to create this famous Harry Potter inspired potion, Gillyweed, said to give you the power to grow gills and breathe underwater. So let's get started. To get started we will need one glass bottle, some green dish liquid, some spare pieces of greenery from some past projects, one label printed on sticker paper or regular paper with Mod Podge, some moss. Okay, so to get started, we're going to take our glass bottle and we are going to put some of the greenery pieces down in there. This doesn't have to be any special way, just put them in and they can be all mixed. You could put some leaves in here if you want. I'm trying to leave mine to look a little bit more seaweedy so it's got more of a um, you know, gillyweed vibe. Um, in the movie, if you watch the Harry Potter movie, they actually have, um, it almost looks like it's made of like jelly or something, but we're just going to go for a green, leafy, seaweedy kind of look. And I found these cool little berry balls that were left over from a project. I'm going to throw some of those in there just to add a little bit more texture. And if you have trouble putting anything in, that's where a cooking skewer or long wire can come in handy just to help, um, you know, get things into the jar. Throw a few more in here. And then we're going to add our moss. Okay, and we're going to add the moss. It's really important to make these um, somewhat smaller pieces so you can get them into your bottle. Otherwise, um, they like to clog up the neck if you have a smaller neck bottle like I have. Put another piece in here. And just whoop. Use your cooking skewer to kind of push that down in there. And I'm going to put this on time lapse while I put a few more in there. So as you can see, I have um, my moss and a whole bunch of my greens in there. And now we're going to go ahead and start to add the green dish soap. Um, you don't have to do green. You could do you could do a clear. I just wanted to do green so it's got a little bit more of that um, green kind of mossy look to it. If your moss has any dye in it, probably like most, I mean most moss has some form of green dye to just make it look more appealing, um, it will turn colors um, on your liquid. So if you do put a clear liquid in here, it'll probably end up taking on a little bit of a green tinge anyway. But I kind of like that this is getting a nice green look to it and then you can still see the green items we've put in the bottle as well. So we'll fill this up the rest of the way here quick and this is a pretty easy one. Um, you're pretty much just filling it up with your green substances, so your spare silk greens, your um, moss, things like that, and then you're just filling it with the dish liquid. And then you can use your skewer to place anything differently if you feel the need to do so. So we've got this all the way filled up. Um, I highly recommend with moss though, you give it a good stir because sometimes I find the moss absorbs the liquid a little bit and you'll end up needing to add a little bit more in there. So when you're using moss in any bottle, it's really important to just give it a good little stir to make sure it's actually filling in all those little air pockets and that the moss isn't absorbing any of the liquid. So as you can see, we get some really great textures and greenery through this bottle. Um, this was actually um, a bottle that I got for less than a dollar, and I got it at a Pat Catan's. So if you have a Pat Catan's craft store, I highly recommend you go in there. They've got a lot of different things that um, your normal craft stores like Michael's and Hobby Lobby sometimes um, don't always carry. Okay, well, I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to um, fill this up pretty much right to the top, and then I'm going to take my cork and cork that up. And I'll show you how we're going to embellish, so to embellish this. this. We're going to take our filled bottle and I am going to add the label. So I printed this on sticker paper. It was a free download. Um, you don't have to print it on sticker paper. You could do regular paper and Mod Podge if you'd like. Um, I just find the sticker paper to be so much easier because you can just peel the backing paper off and put it right on your bottle. So let me get this on here. And I 
think that sound that looks pretty good. Okay, so to add some um, finishing embellishments, I'm going to use a little bit of jute twine, um, one of the little berries that I put in the bottle, and then this really great um, green natural accents. It's supposed to look like a um, bear grass or something, but it's um, it's made of like some latex plastic. So we're going to do a little wrap around that. So first off, we're going to take your jute twine and do like we've done on several of my other bottles, and we're going to make a loop and then wrap this around the bottle. Sorry, I'll try to get this so you can see it, but I gotta get the first wrap on here. Okay, so we get the first wrap. And then we're going to just wrap this around the neck of the bottle. And then we're gonna put this through here. Now, while it's not completely tight, when you're gonna add embellishments like this, you can always add them in um, on the last loop while it's still a little loose. Just kind of tuck it in there like that so that when I pull this tight, and I'm gonna trim this end first, When I pull this bottom tail tight, it's going to cinch our embellishment of the little silk piece in there. Okay, trim this end. And then we can rotate this however we want. So I don't necessarily want this long stem here, so I'm just going to trim that. We've got a nice little look here. And then I'm going to take it one step further with this um, silk grass um, ribbon that I have. And again, you can pick this up at a local craft store. Um, it's usually by the floral design. And I use it on all kinds of things. It's nice to put inside of some of your real live flower vases because um, you can kind of swirl it in there and give it a pattern. And it just kind of adds a little dimension to your silk flowers instead of just looking at the stems. Okay, so I'm just going to cross this over and just kind of tie a simple knot to it. And I don't want it to be real tight because I want you to be able to tell that it was tied out of what looks like grass. And then I'm just gonna cut these in little loops here. Okay, and then you can move this. So if you want this off to the side by your little um, berries or little leaves that you might put on there, I think it just adds a really nice little touch to your bottle. I actually think I want this to come down over some of the jute wrap a little bit. So that's why it's also nice if you leave it a little bit loose, you can make adjustments still. Okay, and there you have it, Gillyweed. I hope this is a great addition to your Halloween potion collection or just a fun prop um, to have around if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.